up everyone, welcome to Rex Engine. In this video I wanted to cover how to do attacks, how to set up attacks on your character that move the character forward or upwards or in a direction when the attack is performed. So if you think of something like um, like in Dark Souls, right, when you, when you do a lot of attacks your character steps forward a little bit, so you can do like a lunging attack or a thrusting attack. And then if we're talking about like Dark Souls, I guess you do the attack and you're on like a ledge and that pushes you over the edge and you fall to your death and you lose all your souls and it kind of sucks, but we'll try and make it awesome in Rex Engine. Um, so it's a pretty easy process. So I've got my character set up here on the stage and he's got no attacks right now. Like he's got this attacks game object, but there's nothing inside it. So I'm going to click on the character and go to tools, Rex Engine, add attack, and I'll add a melee attack. Um, so this is going to set up sort of a generic melee attack on our character. And there's a couple things I want to do, but this is going to be a pretty easy process. The first thing I want to do is just get rid of the existing sprite. So I'll just set that to none. Um, and then I'm going to click on the new melee attack, and I'm just going to rename that to lunge attack. Um, let's see what else we need to set up here. So I'm going to, I'm going to remove the animator. Um, because I want the entire animation is going to be on the player's animator, and the attack itself is not going to have an animation. Um, I've actually already got the animation set up on the player. So if I click on the player's animator, here we go, at the very bottom, it might be getting cut off, but there's an animation here called lunge. And if I scrub through the timeline, this is what it's going to look like. Um, so again, Rex Engine has the option to give the player an animation that he does when the attack is performed, and also if the attack is a separate object, to give the attack its own separate animation. So you can think of it like the player's animation would be like the player swinging his arm, and then the attack's animation would be like the slash effect of the sword or whatever. Um, but in this case, we're only, this is all baked into the player, so we're only using his animation. Um, so let's click on lunge attack again. And we can slot in all of the actor animations and the attack animations in these two different settings here. Um, so I'm just going to click on the actor animations and I'm going to slot in that lunge animation that I showed you from before. And I'm just going to slot the same animation in. Um, for this one, we're not using different animation clips for the different states. It's only the one animation that'll play um, whatever he's doing when that animation is performed. So I'm going to slot in the animation for all these different things. Um, and then under the attack animation, I'm just going to just get rid of those because they're not going to have their own animations. So I just set all of these to none. Okay. Um, okay, that should do it. And so now under that, I'm going to keep scrolling down a little bit. Um, under the button, I'm going to make this require, let's see, the primary attack button, and then I'm going to make it require a vertical button press as well. So when we hold the up button and press attack, and that'll do this lunge attack. It feels appropriate somehow. And then the movement is all going to come in under this section at the very bottom here called movement. Um, great naming convention, I love it. Um, so we have an X speed and a Y speed. So I'm going to make the X speed, um, let's say, 10, so it should be a pretty quick forward thrust. And I'm going to say 5 on the y-axis, um, so he's going to lift off a little bit. He should go off the ground, but it's not going to be as fast as his forward momentum. So if I drag this out, we've also got, um, it's getting cut off here. I'm on a, a small MacBook screen. But there's this use relative horizontal movement. This is checked by default. That just means that the, the horizontal movement is going to depend on the direction he's facing. So if he's facing to the right, this is going to go right. If he's facing to the left, it's going to go left. If you uncheck that box, then that would mean the attack will always go to the right, no matter what direction he's facing. Um, freeze gravity I'm going to do as well. So that means that gravity is not going to be pushing down on us while this attack is performing, so we can get some good lift off off the ground. Um, at the very bottom, there's also make actor invincible during attack. So this is basically going to make this attack give us iframes. Um, so I'm going to do that as well. I think it's kind of a nice thing to do for attacks that move the player. 
it's completely optional, but this way you don't run the risk of like running into an enemy and hurting yourself with the attack. Okay, and then before we test this, I also want to scroll down and we can see the animator here by default is going to come in with this melee controller slotted. I'm just going to get rid of that since we're not using a separate attack animation. And I think that should do the trick if we hit play. There we go. So I'm pressing up plus the attack button. And it's giving us this kind of like nice forward Street Fighter Dragon Punch type thing. I guess it's too horizontal to be a Dragon Punch, but... So we can use this for traversal and for fighting, which is kind of cool. Um, and then as always, if we want to change other attack properties, like if we want the hitbox to be different, um, the hitbox on the lunge attack is just a box collider. You can see it here, it's outlined in green. Um, so you can always change the sizing of that to be different if you want it to match the animation differently or what have you. Um, you can change the amount of damage it does on the contact damage script below here under the amount. Um, so if you want like a really powerful lunging attack that can one-shot all your bosses, this is where you do that. But at any rate, that's it. Um, it's a pretty straightforward system. Most of what you want is under that movement setting down there. So I hope that was helpful, and I will talk to you guys next time.